fishermen plying their trade on the Zambezi River. They use the same simple canoes that their ancestors used and catch fish using the same methods. On the surface, it seems the picture of a rural idyll, but this is one of the most disaster-prone places in Africa. Emmanuel Otoni has lived on the banks of the Zambezi all his life. But now, instead of the village he's always called home, he lives in a temporary grass hut in a riverside camp populated only by men. Even the neighbouring fields, where the women would traditionally have worked while their men fished, are now largely empty of people and crops. Only the old and the weak still farm here. The rest of the women and children have gone, driven away by frequent floods. They've been moved from their traditional houses to resettlement villages like this one. The new houses may be made of brick, but resettlement means people like Lucia Fernando have lost access to their farms and their livelihoods. Organizations like Save the Children are trying to help people adapt, but it's proving to be a difficult job. Claro que há problemas. Esta população aqui neste novo lugar, eles, por exemplo, não têm mais chambas. Então, diz dificulta como fazer produção para os seus filhos comerem. E lá onde viviam, a população tinha os seus costumes, uma pequena escola, tinha os seus hábitos, tinha as suas machambas, mas por causa do clima eles tiveram que deixar isso e virem nesse local onde estamos. And because there's no livelihood for them here, people like Lucia are left with no choice but to ignore the risks and keep returning to their old farms. <laughs> 